Okay, here we are. Here was my aiming mark. I was, I was aiming at that little green logo there. Uh, all three pellets, this was from a, a separate session, uh, all three pellets have gone through the same hole just here. That's uh, about half an inch high at this range. Um, vertically, they're, uh, they're in line with the, uh, with the aiming mark. So we don't need to adjust the windage, the side to side of the, of the scope at all. All we need to do is bring those pellets down slightly so they're hitting that aiming mark. Now in order to do that, we need to remove this protective cover here and adjust this dial, which is marked up and down in a number of clicks. What we want to do is bring the point of impact down. We need to turn the turret the right number of clicks to bring it down the right amount. Most scopes are set so that a single click moves the point of impact one quarter of an inch at 100 yards. That means at 25 yards you need four clicks to move the point of impact a quarter of an inch. We wanted to bring the point of impact down by half an inch, so I've turned the turret eight clicks in the down direction. And there we are. Three shots, nicely in the center of the aiming mark. That rifle is now spot on zeroed for 25 yards.